Can you explain the insulin argument? A lot of my professors in grad school teach me the opposite of your take based on recent research. T the opposite of what? Okay, here's a, here's a couple things. I feel like I have, I feel like I explain this so much. I'm sorry if this is boring. I'm so sorry if this is boring you, okay? We need to understand something. It's so important, okay? We need to understand something called marginal cost, okay? I don't know what the curve would actually Imagine look like. Imagine if that, um, then it had a live leak logo. Would it, would it look, would this look like, would this be like a, a marginal cost graph? It would, I think it would be like some function like this or whatever, right? Let's say that it cost me $1 million to manufacture a drug, okay? $1 million to manufacture a drug. Um, if I make that drug, let's say it takes $1 million to manufacture a drug and $1 to make a pill, okay? How much does it cost me to make one pill of that drug? It would cost one million and one dollars. That's what it would cost. What if I wanna make two pills? If I made two pills, it would cost me one million and two dollars because every pill only takes a dollar to make, right? Well, by making two pills instead of one, I've effectively cut in half the cost per pill because the average cost would go from one million and one dollars to like five hundred thousand and one dollar. Does that make sense? Am I saying this? Do you understand? Right. Um, <clears throat> the marginal cost, meaning the cost to make the next pill, is very low when it comes to pharmaceuticals. But the initial capital investment, the initial R and D, research and development, is very very high. So when you say it only costs a dollar or two to make a pill, you're technically correct, but really you're missing the point. You're you're, you're wrong. You don't understand the, the the marginal cost and the difference between the initial investment and the cost to make the next product. That's why it's dumb to say like, oh, it only costs. Mr. Mutton Man still on for the DTP or was it? I don't scrapped? know. We'll see. Um, it, it, that's why it doesn't make sense to say like um, like something only costs a dollar two to make. Like kind of. Saying something only costs a dollar to make is like saying it's really easy to play a professional song. You just have to push the right buttons, which is true, but you're ignoring the years of practice of going to being able to push the right buttons. I don't know why marginal cost increase. I don't know. I've never seen this graph because I've never taken a formal econ class, but. Oh, there is a. Jacob explains it. There is a, an increase in marginal cost as diseconomies of scale and such. One of our questions you ask pro-lifers is if I have a human on a life support and remove the brain, is this a human life? What? What if we're going to put the brain back? Does it have worth in between then? Um, I mean, if you're finding a way to preserve the brain and put it back, then you'd probably say, yeah, it's a similar thing to sleeping or something. Professors focus on the fact that R&D is mostly done for long-running insulin medications and that current high costs aren't justified anymore. Any new research is for allies of what they say. Here is my understanding, and somebody can tell me if I'm wrong, feel free to email me. Every single time a medical professional or researcher or chemist has emailed me, they have always reinforced this opinion. So I feel pretty strongly about it now. But if, you, if you're in the area and you know more, feel free to correct me, okay? My understanding is that the biggest criticism that I've gotten, or not criticism, but, but when people email me, is they'll say, listen, if people want to use old, cheap, shitty insulin, they're free to do that. There are some people that make it, but that insulin sucks. There is a story that came out like a, a couple years ago, I think, where it was like some guy couldn't afford his insulin and he died because he bought insulin from Walmart. That's the old shit insulin that you can use. If you want to use it, you can use it. It's out there, and I think people sell it, but it's dog shit. Like, the insulin today is like some fucking wild, insane shit. It goes into your body, it's slow release, it regulates your blood sugar over time, it's wild. The old insulin of the past is like, you eat a meal, and then your blood sugar is like, Rrr! and then you fucking, Rrr! you slam an injection, and your blood sugar is like, Rrr! and it's like, insanely harsh. Like, the difference between the new, like, all the synthetic analogs and shit that have been created for insulin are so much smoother in terms of regulating your overall blood sugar, which is pretty important. Having regular blood sugar is really important. Having really high blood sugar is, like, fucking toxic to your body. It causes, like, neuropathy. Like, your toes and your eyes will fucking fall out of your body. Having really low blood sugar, I know it leaves you low energy. It probably does a bunch of other bad things and affects other metabolic processes as well. But, like, having, like, regulated blood sugar is really, really, really important. Your body does this a lot um, in terms of juggling like between insulin and shit and the glycogen and shit and every like every like regulating blood sugar is really important but yeah anyway just newer insulin is way better anytime people are like oh well they released the patent 100 years ago when that guy sold it for a dollar but yeah you can use that insulin if you want it sucks it sucks shit it's garbage that old insulin is dog shit if you want to use it you can but it's dog shit your eyes don't follow your body you're spreading misinformation i can't tell if you're trolling or not um 
one of the big things for uh, really, really high blood sugar is your eyes will, you have like ocular degeneration. It will fuck your eyes over time. Uh, everybody's in for a hamster. Feeling about the state of California moving to produce their own insulin? I don't think it's the, pro I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's the production of insulin that is the problem. It's the R&D into, into newer forms of insulin. And California's probably not gonna invest the money into doing that new R&D. They're probably gonna buy old patents. That'd be my guess. Do you think a more important conversation is how long patents should last when it comes to things like insulin? I think the more important conversation is how do we get medical insurance for everybody or how do we cover everybody? I think it's probably like the more important conversation. The old insulin being dog shit is in justification of insulin prices, and the rest of the world understands that, so it's priced accordingly much lower. It's the U.S. medical insurance industry stopping that being the case in America too. Um, I don't, I don't know. I international drug pricing is um, international drug pricing is complicated. I won't be able to answer it. I've had, I've got mixed responses on this. I don't, I don't know if Rage Pope or Irk are here. They might have a strong opinion, but like I've heard two claims. I've heard one people, one one says that United States. Um, United States financial interventions basically modernize drugs for the world. That, yeah, Europe gets cheap drugs, but it's only because Americans and American companies are willing to invest so much money into it, is one. I've had other people argue, well, that's actually not true. R&D occurs all over the world. The idea that it's fixed in America doesn't make sense. Then I've had other people point out, well, sure, R&D does happen in labs all over the world, but a lot of those labs are owned by American companies. For instance, people will say um, Germany gets credit for the, um, Germany should get credit for the Pfizer vaccine because Pfizer and BioNTech, BioNTech exists in Germany. But then other people, but then they'll say like, well, Pfizer is an American company. The only reason biotech was able to succeed and flourish in Germany is because um, is because Pfizer, an American company, made the investment into it. So like, I, I don't know. I've heard other people say that like, yeah, Europe gets drugs for cheaper than America, but that's because Europe is hardcore price controlling on a lot of their markets that the government will literally set prices for it. And because of regional pricing discrimination, American companies can afford to sell it for less because it's better to, I, I, so it's a really, really, really complicated understanding. Uh, or, or I'm sorry, it seems like a really complicated conversation. I don't know what the right answer is. I've heard like 15 different reasons on every single side and I'm not I don't know like what is like the the absolute killer 100% reason I'm not I don't know I'm not sure I don't know <clears throat> email me and tell me I'm wrong old insulin equals made from pig pancreas new insulin made from modern microbiolo ugh, microbiological and molecular biological techniques. yeah there used to be a way we like milked pig pancreases way back in the past but it was a really expensive, really labor-intensive, really dog shit. That insulin sucked. The human synthetic analogs that we make now are way, 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 way better. <clears throat> Is this the reverse of what Martin Shkreli pulled? Okay, I don't want to burn my bridge with Martin Shkreli, but <laughs> my understanding is... My, my understanding is Martin Shkreli would try to identify drugs on the market to buy and then relist for prices so that he could make a bunch of money to fund his other businesses. That's my understanding of the... Is it diazepram? Or is that a Metal Gear Solid 2 benzo? <laughs> Hold on. Or is it a tranquilizer or something? Oh no, it is a benzo, fuck. This is what you take to control your breathing in Metal Gear Solid 2, right? Am I making that up? I think it is. Oh no, it's pentazamine is what it's called. Is that, ba is that a fake drug? Oh, it's fictional, yeah, okay, but it's probably the idea, yeah, okay. The way he explained it was that he'd use it for R&D to replace the drug, because I don't think that's true. But, listen. <clears throat> um, I've heard some poor people are so desperate now they're taking Restin as an alternative to insulin now. Well, okay, like, my, like I said, I could be wrong. Somebody check and correct me. I think you can still find cheap dog shit insulin. I think that still exists. You shouldn't, like, there's insulin out there if you want to buy cheap dog shit insulin. It just sucks. You can still buy insulin from Walmart. Yeah, because everybody was, like, it's so weird because on one hand, um, people are saying, like, oh, insulin should be so cheap. It was released a long time ago, blah, 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 blah. Um, but then everybody got really mad that this guy died. I remember this story. People were like, oh, my God, this guy died because he couldn't afford insulin. He could afford insulin. He bought insulin. He bought it from Walmart. But it was dog shit insulin. It was horrible. And people are like, oh, well, it's only $1. This is the $1 insulin. <laughs> this is the this is the dog shit cheap shit fucking insulin. Minus 100% of the dog shit insulin. If you know how to use it, it's great. Grandmother took that measured shit for 30 plus years. The new stuff is amazing, easier to use. Hence why that kid died because he had no idea how the old shit worked. Oh, okay. <clears throat> kind of. Hold on. I can, let me, let me clarify my terms a little bit more. Um, 
if there's a doc, fuck, I need more physicians in chat, okay? I have enough lawyers, we need more doctors. So I think a really important thing for prescribing certain medications that doctors keep in mind is um, your ability to use it correctly, as stupid as that sounds. But if there are like treatment regimens that are like more complicated, or if you're more likely to fuck up or forget a medication or something, I think that this is factored into the like, if not the overall efficacy of a drug, but like when doctors describe it, like things they know. So like if there's a drug, like the newer insulin is, I'm pretty sure a lot easier because you could like, you take it and forget, you don't have to worry about it or whatever, whereas other stuff has to be time more. Um, I don't know if diabetics do this anymore. Man, hold on, am I dating myself? I don't know if diabetics do this anymore, but a long, long, long time ago, you, uh, you used to have to prick your finger every single day. You would have to take a little device and you have to poke a finger, get some blood and measure your blood sugar, sometimes multiple times a day in order to, um, in order to like monitor your blood sugar throughout the day. I don't think people do that anymore ever, right? Do they, do, do diabetics take their blood sugar every single day? <clears throat> they do, but it's now a computer, computer device thing. I still do every day. There's a patch now. There are other ways to do it. They move to an arm patch. Most still do. My diabetic mom does. Gluco glucometers. Okay, I don't know. It sounds like people still do this. All right. Um, boom, boom. <laughs> oh no, poor Linus. He's selling a $70 wrench or screwdriver? $250 backpack with no warranty as well? That's not an abnormal price for a high quality ratcheting screwdriver. Where's the, can somebody link a store? Why would you not put a warranty on your shit? I feel like everybody does, it's like standard practice, no? I bought a backpack fucking like three years ago from Alina that she never uses. And then I just started using it. Not just, I but, I, but then I used it instead. It's like, fuck you, if you're not gonna use it, I'm gonna use it. It's actually a really good ass backpack. I don't remember how much it costs, let me check. Or maybe, fuck, well now I'm worried, maybe it's not a good backpack, I don't know. Oh, I don't know how much it costs. Swiss gear, because she's Swedish. Swish and Swedish, it's like the same shit, right? Stephen, I won my first big debate yesterday, all thanks to you big guy. I eviscerated my opponent with alacrity. After the big win, I spit on his face and told him to off himself and went to get shit faced at a Denny's. What a night! RFID blocking passport. Is this really. Do people steal shit through RFID scanners? <laughs> Unironically, yes. Oh, fuck. I wonder how much my shit's been stolen. Where did you get your wallet from? I don't know. I really like this wallet. I've used it for a long time. Jack Henry. I don't know if they make them anymore. Okay, hold on. Just real quick. Everybody in chat is saying it's common, it's common, it's common, it's common, it's common. I'm pretty sure I've traveled internationally more than 99% of you. I've never had this happen before in my life. So I'm, I'm sure it happens. I'm sure it does happen somewhere, okay? But I don't think it's like common. Like you're fucked if you travel somewhere. You don't have an RFID blogger, okay? Chill. Jesus. Holy fucking Christ. You guys are cringe as fuck. I miss the old Linus. Straight from the kitchen Linus. Actual review Linus. Consumer protection Linus. Do you still get cash? No. Yeah, I got a lot of cash though. I got hundreds of dollars here. Because I'm fucking loaded. I go take it with a strip club. <laughs> Damn. Is Linus' whole community like fucking rebelling against him now? <laughs> Oh man, poor Linus. Damn. Is he double down yet or is he in retreat mode yet? <clears throat> oh, we watched this. This was the double down. My point is that lifetime warranty or any warranty period means nothing. I could just fold the company, you'd be shit out of luck. So at the end of the day, you either trust me to do the right thing or you don't it. Yeah, we saw this statement. This statement is pretty dumb. <sighs> dumb statement. Remember when Linus said his employees didn't need a union and if they had a problem, they could go to the head of HR, who was his wife. 
<laughs> Wait, is that actually true? That's pretty funny if so. Asked that I feel that if our staff felt like they needed a union, I would consider that, and Yvonne too, we would both consider it personal failures. Here in Canada, there's absolutely- We listened to this video a long time ago, I think. Absolutely nothing that we'd be able to do to prevent it, legally speaking. So if they decided that they wanted to approach their engagement with their employer that way, that's there's, there's absolutely nothing that we could do to challenge them on it. Uh, it's actually sort of baffling to me that it is possible to have such blatant, like just brazen anti-organizing policies in place in our neighbors to the south, I, I don't get it. Um, what protections do you have in place for your staff? I mean, really... What does that mean? Yeah, I don't really know. I mean, we, we have, like, a dental plan? I, I, I'm, I'm not really 100% sure what you're asking. There's a lot of legal protections for employees just in general in Canada. Like Why not just... God, it's so funny. Just don't be a cringe fucking loser socialist. Just say, like, bro, I'm a capitalist, and then you're good. Just don't be a socialist. And then you don't have to... You don't have to do this weird, cringy backpedaling on everything. Hey, Destiny, I've heard that the Ridge Wallet is compact and protects your cards from getting lost in your wallet. Not a sponsored post, by the way. Nice.